today I will show you guys how to make the second generation of the uh, secret bomber. To make the secret bomber, you need a printing paper. You can use either use letter size or an A4 paper. So let's start now. First step, I will fold the paper in half. And then unfold the paper. Next step, I will start from the intersection of the center crease and the top edge for straight down to this corner. And of course, I will repeat the same fold for the opposite side. And then I fold the paper in half to create the center crease again. After I finish folding the center line, I can fold this flap to a side and then I can unfold the other side as well. So the paper will look very nicely. And next step, I can start from this edge for to the center crease. Repeat the same fold for the other side. I will turn the paper this way so I can fold it easier because I am right handed. I make a very nice crease. And now I am going to create the wings by folding this part out. When I fold out, I'll estimate about 1 cm above this line or you can say it is almost half an inch. So I will do it now. I'm folding this paper out to create these wings. For it, I will fold slowly to create this stabilizer at the same time. I will match this edge to the edge on the bottom and the distance from this corner to the crease or the edge we're going to make is about one centimeter. This is how we create this sta stabilizer. And I repeat the same fold for the other side. For this one in and then I fold this one out as well. So to make the wings uh, even I will fold the paper in half and then I will flip the paper over and now I can start from this edge and match it to the edge on the bottom this is a little bit confusing so if you have difficulty to fold the wings uh, just re-watch the tutorial and now I will open the paper you can see a paper like this I fix it a little bit too to make sure that the wings are even and now uh, I will fold this triangle shape down I can use this intersection here you can see the edge here crosses the edge over here so use as edge of reference to fold if you don't do if you do not fold correctly the blend will not fly well at all so make sure that's all, all creases or match I'll fix it and I'll make a crease here first and I'll turn the paper over and now if for this you can see this triangle shape here I'll fold it up I'll fold it up and now it is very interesting because we have this part of the paper I will just fold it in it depends on your paper, it may be very hard to fold or it may be very easy to fold. 
it uh, depends on the thickness of your paper as well. So after I fold both sides, I will fold this triangle shape again to hold both sides together. This look very nice. And next step, I fold the paper in half. Just fold it in half. And on the following step, I'm going to create the wings by matching this edge to the edge on the bottom. Just curve the paper and then match our edges. Okay, and then I just fold this part down and make a very uh, nice crease here. You do not need to press it so hard, just make a crease. And then repeat the same fold for the opposite side. Curve the paper and make the crease. Make sure that this edge make with the edge on the bottom. Matches and then just fold it. And also fix this part of the paper as well. After you finish that, you can see the top here is. Uh, you can see the top looks very nice so far, so we do not need to fold it more. Okay, and next step we are going to create the stabilizers. I fold it up to create the stabilizers. So, at this point, it looks very similar to the previous version. And of course, it depends on the paper you choose and on how carefully you fold the plan as will fly well or not. So I will fold this one up first. You can see the stabilizers look very nice and the plans look very nice too but it may not fly well at all. It is very important that you create these um, elevators uh, right here. So I just curve this part up a bit. I make a line and curve up and I would do it for both sides of the wings. So make a line and curve it up. You can create two more stabilizers to have the plan fly better. I would start from this size of the paper and we estimate about uh, half an inch or even more than that, maybe half an inch. I will fold straight to the center and make sure that this edge will be parallel with the stabilizer down there. So show you slowly now. And I will fold the paper in half so I can create these other stabilizers uh, easier. Make sure that our edges are lie up first and then I just fold the other side out. And here you go. I just create two more stabilizers to help the plant fly better. This is the second generation of the Secret Burma. You can call this plant the Super Secret Burma. Uh, you can check it out. Make sure that uh, you curve the elevators up uh, for even for both sides. If the left is more, the plant will fly toward to the left uh, or the opposite. And if this plant fly well for you, Give the video a thumb up, share it with your friends, and subscribe my channel. And finally, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.